Hey, what's up, guys? Zoomish Day Three here, bringing you my new mini game. Um, I guess it's new. It is <laughs> sort of. I started it December 11th of last year. I looked at the uh, date of creation or whatever, and I was like, "Oh, wow! It only took me, you know, almost like four months to finish it." But whatever. Uh, I tried a few different times, and uh, this is the second version actually that I decided to end up using as the final one because it's uh, the most fun in my opinion, and everybody else that played on it seemed to like it. So yeah. Anyway, it's four minutes, and it's called U-Turn because you go up, and then you make a U-Turn, and you come back, and then you make another U-Turn, and you go up, and you go back, and yeah. Uh, the main centerpiece is this huge, or not huge, but this uh, this jump with a, a pretty big gap in the middle, and uh, a kill ball. And then at the beginning, it just kind of goes and rolls, and then falls in the water. It takes its time respawning. Uh, it's set to one second, but it falls in the water. It really takes me like, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds, roughly. And then two minutes into the game, so halfway through, this bridge will spawn. So the kill ball will roll down, and uh, or it'll get launched over. It'll roll down the bridge, and it'll hit the man cannons again, and get launched. And uh, it makes for a whole lot of explosions. I think just in that little clip there, it uh, I think there were about seven people that ended up dying in it. And here you see this little pileup. It happens every single time. No matter if the people have played the map before or not, uh, every time there's a pileup at the very beginning, just because. I don't know. It's it's kind of fun, really. But uh, So you just go up, and you get a point every time you make it to the opposite end. It's set in race, so there's a uh, one set at spawn sequence 1, spawn sequence 2. So they just keep alternating the whole time. Uh, I kind of wanted to make this compatible with Battle Tracks, because I thought that would have been sweet, but... There's really no way I could do it, and uh, if I do figure out a way and I have the motivation or whatever, then uh, I'll just release a new video of it. If you guys have any ideas on how I could do that realistically to have it still be chaotic and not so you're just going around like NASCAR style, but uh, just leave that in the comments. I'll definitely take a look at it. Uh, usually after I upload a video for like a half hour, I just respond to every single comment. So uh, even if it's later, I'll still respond if you've got some nice input, whatever. So it's... Uh, a nice little four minute game, as I said, and every 45 seconds, uh, you might see that the walls will get a little bit closer or uh, narrower. The map will get narrower. So I used every wall coliseum. It's not modded or anything, it's just however many you can have. What, 50, I think? Um, so I worked it out so that at 45 seconds, 90 seconds, 135 seconds, and then uh, 180 seconds, the walls will keep coming in on you. So it uh, gets narrow and there's more collisions and all that. It gets a little bit more chaotic. It's a uh, it's a good time. Uh, the only real problem with that is that you can get stuck in the wall if you're just like sitting there, but that's usually not a problem. And uh, it's more fun if people go in the middle anyway, because then you could run into people and die and all that. And everybody loves that, right? So <clears throat> you'll see there that I I get hit or whatever. I flipped over and then uh, I tried to make the jump from part of the way already there and uh, I barely made it over the jump so really it works out to where if somebody hits you when you're about to go over the jump like that guy I just hit right there I guarantee he died and then you know I get some nice little instant karma this guy I thought it'd be hilarious to push me in the kill ball kill us both but whatever so basically you have to have a pretty good amount of speed because that's the way the jump is set up so if you do hit somebody or some obstacles that you'll see later that uh, then you'll have to back up a bit and then uh, get your speed back and all that and then you'll be able to actually make it over the jump um, the main things that spawn are the walls, making it narrower, of course. You can see how he's already encroached on about half of the, uh, half of the 5x5s five five on the sides there, and it's just three 5x5s five five side by side, so you can see how big the middle one is, and then you can see only about half of the outside ones. So that's just a reference of how much thinner the map's getting. You might not notice as you go along, but, uh, every time I've played it, I've heard people just go, whoa, is the map, like, is it getting smaller or something? So then you see there in the ground hidden are some 2x2 two two steeps that are slightly submerged. Those spawn at 180 seconds, and if you hit them like this, boop, you do a barrel roll. It's really not like a trick on purpose. It's supposed to just make it so when you're trying to head over the jumps, then you hit it, and then you lose your speed, and then you're going to die, and that's, that's a good time and all that. So uh, the other notable things are the 5x1s that will block you there. Um, the... Two outside ones on each side spawn after 130 seconds, so a little bit past halfway. And then at 160 seconds is when the middle two 5x1s will spawn. So uh, it makes it so there's four ways to go through, but they're all pretty narrow. Uh, mongoose or mongai or mongooses can all fit side by side there. Um, but it's still 
it's still very likely that you're just going to hit somebody and die. Uh, I have tested this, I'm not sure how many times, uh, all the different versions and that, and it seems like every time after I play it, uh, there's a couple people going, oh yeah, let's play it again, whatever. So, yeah, it's a good time. Download it. I'll have the uh, map and the game type in the description. And here, it's just a uh, E.T. phone home screenshot that I took on Halo 3. I thought it was pretty hilarious, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have a photo at the end of this, but whatever. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more, and see you all later.